One of the things that resonates with me today about hormone replacement therapy is back when I was a paramedic in the 80s, I would take people into nursing homes and I would watch them deteriorate. It was, it, it was heartbreaking. Diabetics and heart disease patients have died in my arms. I've lied to them, telling them everything was going to be fine when I knew that they only had a few minutes left. That Those feelings, those visuals never left me. But fast forward 25 years, I got to work in anti-aging centers as a director of research for a large pharmacy and see what these hormones were doing. The benefits, the people still in their 70s and 80s still wanting to travel around Europe. I knew that the hormone replacement therapy was going to be important for disease-specific treatment protocols, not only to keep us healthy, but to keep us disease free. And this is some of the areas that, that we talk about. We know that physical, mental, and emotional stress elevates cortisol levels, and cortisol shuts all our hormones off. So back when I was a paramedic attached to the SWAT team, a lot of the high-end workers and, and emergency workers had low um, testosterone because of elevated cortisol. Now I saw this in the 80s. Imagine what's going on today. What makes our program different when it comes to hormone replacement therapy or using hormones for the disease-specific treatment protocol? Like I said, we worked in brain injury, diabetic. We work with mental disorders where they only treat the head, not the body. We know the intestinal tract is the second brain. So if your intestinal tract is out of balance, it's going to affect how your brain chemistry feels. Well, guess what happens when it comes to TRT? You can't give everybody the same dose of testosterone, just like you can't give a woman the same dose of estrogen. You've got to look at multiple metabolic markers. Every person looking for hormone replacement therapy is biochemically unique. So what we do a little different, think about it. You come to see us. And we look at multiple metabolic systems of your body. We measure your chronic stress levels. We see if your cortisol levels are elevated. Because if cortisol levels are elevated, you're not going to respond or your dosing has to change for testosterone, growth hormone, and thyroid. And that system has to be treated together. You can't just treat testosterone or, or, or women's hormones in isolation. We have to look at the intestinal tract now, the microbiome. We even look at the mitochondria. The mitochondria which I have more information on the Russ Scala YouTube channel about how the mitochondria work. But the mitochondria is in every cell of our body, it creates energy. Our hormones and our nutrition affect the mitochondria. Now think about the most metabolically active tissue in our body is our heart that beats 84,000 times a day. Our brain is highly metabolically active. So testosterone is gonna affect the performance of the brain and the heart. The heart has testosterone receptor sites on it. I've worked with heart transplant patients, I've worked with heart attack patients. I work with athletes that have had heart attacks that, that were sub extremely fit because high cortisol and low testosterone damage the endothelial lining of the heart. So what I'm trying to say and help you people understand is you can't just take testosterone or hormones in isolation. That's old school. We have to look at the brain chemistry, the intestinal tract. We look at the mitochondrial level, how we create power at the cellular level and how is testosterone involved in that. How is growth hormone involved in that? We know that IGF-1 tells us how, much, how, how well the cells are functioning in our body. This is an indicator for growth hormone. When growth hormone is, is dosed properly, our IGF-1 will come up a little bit. Growth hormone is going to be very important for brain injury patients to increase um, synaptogenesis, neurogenesis. Growth hormone and testosterone are going to be important for stroke patients to rehab themselves. Again, this is all new information. Nobody has it yet, and we, we're sharing this with doctors. We're sharing this on the Russ Scala YouTube channel, and even my book, you'll see at the end here, American Biohacker. It takes a deeper dive into this research for you. Scala Precision Health specializes in cutting-edge research, metabolic testing, and advanced imaging for the purpose of creating individually customized disease-specific treatment protocols and performance enhancement solutions. Our research and development pushes innovative performance solutions into the hands of individuals, companies, physicians, and athletes.